Hi, this is Belinda Aussie Stitcher coming to you on this 11th of June 2020. Oh my goodness, it's been I think roughly three weeks and not a lot has really happened. We finished seeding and we on for our personal cells and our farmer that we work for and we got a whole program in for the first time ever of our seeding which is awesome. It's been a bit of a lack of rain. It is kind of raining today. Um, we're only supposed to get one to five meals and I reckon we had a couple of meals already. So, but it's good to get something and I'm not gonna whinge over it. Um, also a new thing, we have um, satellite internet, MBN internet, which I'm hoping this means this will be a little bit faster to upload if it reaches that 30 minute mark. Cause usually once it hits over that I think 25 minutes it goes from being you know an hour to two hours to four to eight hours and that drives me insane um, I don't really have a lot of other stuff to say the kids are still at school they're doing really well they're coping with all the new changes they're very much over um, hand sanitizer because the school one has a funny smell and I don't like it but they are doing it William still thinks he's finished forever and will leave tomorrow. And they're gearing up to do speeches this year. We do speeches every year. There's a speech comp. Um, I've got two not wanting to do it, one wanting to do it and one can't do it, but he's kind of interested. Um, so we'll see. I won't force them to do it, but I would like them to do it because it's a skill and They've done reasonably well. They've always managed to get into the top three or the top eight. So if you're in the top um, three, I think it must be top six, um, you go and you compete. Um, and you get, you know, first, second, and third. But if you're in the top six, the, the last bottom three, get a certificate to say that you just missed out. And they've been in the top six so they've done really well and it would be a shame not to keep going i mean i don't care that they don't get in it's a skill but you've done well why not have at least three hat in the ring and have a go um mail is slowly creeping through the world excuse me um i actually got my sassy pouch really quickly um I'm not doing an unboxing for this one. I will do an unboxing for their one year anniversary. I've decided to do that. And unfortunately that will be my last one that I will get. And it's not because I don't like it. I love my sassy pouches. But we're making some financial decisions um, farming wise and I've got to be more practical where I put play money towards. And as much as I love the Sassy pouch, that money can go towards thread or fabric that I need. But guys, if you're sitting on the fence, at least go and give it once. It is an amazing money worth um, pouch. And it, it's amazing. It's that little bit of, was it every three months? I think it is. It's that little bit of, birthday surprise or Christmas or do you what I'm getting this month um, surprise and it's been amazing and I, there's only been a couple of things that I kind of went mm, I'm not sure if I would ever use but most of it I would or at least use it once and have a go um, or I thought about buying but never got around to and now I don't have to it's a bit it's been a needing another cup of coffee kind of day already Right, I have one, two, three, four, five new starts and one whip to show you today. Um, for the month of May, I did 6,865 stitches and 935 beads for a grand total of 7,800 stitches and beads. So let's get into it. 
I haven't finished um, Enchanted Mermaid, but I did move her out of this bag. Um, I started Emerald Mermaid with Vicky Reading and Stitches Harriet from Stitch and Recovery. Sarah, I think. Did I write down who I started it with? Um, nope, just Vicky and Harriet. Uh, right. So, Emerald Mermaid. This was also stitched by um, Alorna, Ladybird Stitcher. She did an amazing job. It's finished. And I am stitching it on. Do I have the card? Yes, I do. Hand dyed by Stephanie on 28 count casual opal willow wisp. And I did the grand. I end up having to. Normally I'd like to do a thousand stitches on anything that I stitch on, but I basically had to downgrade everything. We got really busy from this point on. Um, so I had an amazing stitch count at the beginning of the month and then it dropped because life got busy. So I basically went for 500 stitches. And that's, yeah, that's what I got to. So I basically wanted to stitch this way like I do to the end so and I got that's that bit of the tail over there so I got to stitch a couple that is a good representation of the fabric as well So really enjoyed it. I forgot my board again. Because why buy it? And then keep forgetting it. Oh, and my needle minder is from Needle Mind Obsession, which is closed down. I'm pretty sure. Either that or it's from that needle minder place in Perth which I will look up and put down below. If I don't remember to do links, just give me a gentle nudge. Because sometimes I put everything up and then walk away and completely forget. Okay, next I started Queen Mara Posa by Mirabilia with reading and stitches and on virtual stitches, we um, did a. Uh, everyone that was on went through all their mirror billiards, and I went through and I saw this one, and I'm like, why have I not started it? Why? Now I'm stitching this on um, hand dyed um, by Stephanie Fabrics, 28 count um, casual, I think, um, confetti, and I got 571 stitches. That's what I got done. I basically, I think, got to the end. That's a bit better. Now, I was a little bit concerned with like this color in here, but it's going to be covered. I did a floss toss basically on virtual, and then I did a couple of Marco Polos to a couple of friends, and basically, it would be fine. It's um. Most of it, I mean, they have it on a darker fabric. I, I kind of wondered, I liked this. So, if need be, I will um, outline anything that really needs a bit more definition. Then I started waiting for ships with Harriet reading. Um, stitching and recovery and Zeb from 
zoom and did. Like just a bit Harriet. Okay. Seven from virtual stitches. So this is waiting for ships. And my fabric is but it's 30, 28 count opal and that's where I got to and again this is another one that I Marco polo and asked about because of some of the colors in here but again there's darker colors around it and once you get all of the stuff in it'll be fine and when you're looking at it in person, it looks fine as well. But wait, there's another start. So I got 515 stitches into that one. Then I started with Sarah from Sarah's Stitching Kingdom, Harriet, Stitching Recovery, um, Natalie from Zoom, and possibly Zeb as well from Zoom. I'll throw her name in there as well. Shakespeare's Fairies. And I had already picked out a fabric, but when I went to stitch on it, it was horrible to stitch on. So I changed it to um, 28 count jade. Is it jade? We'll say jade from Picture This Plus. And that's my start. And I got 509. I think that's the way it goes. Actually, it might even go this way. That makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Because that's the lantern and the fairy holding it. This is why I like doing a thousand stitches, but I honestly ran out of time. And then I got Michaela to choose a whip randomly. No, sorry. I still have another start and this one I started with Vicky reading and stitches and it's the day nymph by Mirabilia. Unintentionally it ended up but I had some other starts that I was going to do and I just honestly did not get there. I got overwhelmed and busy. Anyway these use the Vendoni threads and most of them have quite the variegation in them. That one's probably not the best one to see, that one is. So there's 10 of them, uses one DMC. And I'm stitching this on under the sea fabrics. And I can't think of what the name is, but it's 28 count. And that's my start. So 
So in, in there, there is four Valandonis, but they all seem to at one point have the same shading or shading to the previous or the thread that I just used. So I think it looks fine. I'm probably being a bit more picky in how I am picky, like, because there's such variegation, like, where do I want the darker colour to make a bit more sense. And lastly, I got Michaela a beautiful melanie bag. And I've got, I'm doing the Ninth Nymph as well, starting this month, and it'll be in the other one of this. But lastly, Michaela chose um, a whip for me, like I asked her to. And she chose Enchanted Aurora by Joan Elliott. Oh my god, I stitched in something different this month. And this is on 32 Count Oakful by Angel Wings, Mermaid's Tales, or Mermaid's Tales and Angel Wings. Oh my goodness, I get to do a preview pitch. Here's the preview. And hopefully, I can go over here. And it fits and you can see that I stitched the wolf and I did 624 stitches which gives me the thousand odd stitches that I like to stitch on this because I've already stitched on this once this year um, but I nearly finished the page there's a couple of animals in there so this may or may not come out to get done that little page finish and it's only taken me like four years to get it done so yeah and we're done right now on to things that have come in the mail a lot of this stuff not necessarily um has been just waiting in the mail by the sassy pouch and the chart that I got from Jenny of a Stitcher um, because mail has been slow so from Journey of the Stitcher I got Seeking Refuge when the world seems to be out of control I find a way to nurture my soul seeking refuge with needle and thread the Angus anxiety no longer I dread and I looked up on Journey of a Stitcher last night and they're now stocking gas thread as well as the CC and the week's dye work. So that is awesome. She also sent um, this, which is from Kitten Stitcher. And tell me ye knowing and discerning few where I may find a friend both firm and true. I really like that. That's our pump that keeps coming on and off. And I can't control that. So I'm really sorry if that's really annoying. Um, and even with the pandemic, that actually came pretty quick. I then got my order from Color Cassades, which was a whole heap of DMC thread, which I've put away. And I got some more of these um, project cards. One, two, three, four. I think I got five and one somewhere. Sorry guys. Coffee is needed. Um, then I got my order from Stitch and Button Vicky that was sent in March. That seemed to have taken a very long time to get here, but it was sent right at the beginning. Well, probably not right at the beginning, but in that whole pandemic. And then, um, so we got sent in March and then April, May just went crazy. So, she got me some DM3C thread, so I have another Joanne. I actually haven't thrown the other one away, so I now have two Joanne receipts, which are really, really cool. Um, she sent me, hold please, she sent me these things to help put the fabric.
it was just over there. So I just reached over. Um, I also ordered some either, you can, I think they can be either scissor, scissor fobs or bag pulls. This one's definitely a bag pull because it has the pulling on it. I got this with the tractor. So, she does the most awesome job and very, I don't know, attractive -y colours that she put on there. I also got this um, bag pull with the bag parts. I also got some needle minders from Stitch and Button. I got Mama Needs Coffee, the Alice in the Wonderland, the book was better, and the butterfly. Um, if only Sarcasm burnt calories. She still has this, um, a lot of these at her shop too. The Tartist and the B. Mine, and she had this, um, I suppose it was like a brooch or a pin and she made it into a needle minder for me. It's the Australian emblem, which is I'm going to put on Anzac. And I also got, um, these are not new now, but they were new when I ordered it. It's a needle minder, TARDIS with a frogger pin. So the whole idea is that you can use this as a needle minder and have all this, because the, the metal's magnetic, so you can have that on the back of your work just sitting there, and when you need to frog, you've got the needle there to do it, and then you can place your working needle on here. And I just thought that was the most awesomest thing, and that is really magnetic, so. I am so happy that I got one of these and will be probably like my second needle minder on whatever whip I happen to be working on at the time. But wait, there's more. I obviously got bags from Vicky. So I got this um, Christmas looking one. That's the zipper pull. I got this Star Wars bag. Um, I'll get the zipper pull out. And it's in a galaxy far, far away. That's what that says. So that's the inside, that's the outside. I got this Star Wars bag. Has the same zipper pull. It does, which makes sense. So that's the inside, that's the outside. And then I got this Star Trek one. I'm also a big Star Trek fan. And that's the outside. So, oh, and I also got some of those metal rings, which I didn't bring with me. These ones. To put some of the specialty threads on, just to see if I would like them. And I do, I love them. So, thank you very much.
Vicky. Um, cannot fault the bags. They are so well made, so straight. I can't sew to save my life. So these are awesome. Um, and yeah, the needle minders, awesome magnets. Gonna hold anything. And then she went shopping for DMC for me. She was freaking amazing. So, now to my sassy pouch. I will say the sassy pouch came with some octopus lollies, which are long gone. The kids ate them. And they said they tasted really nice. Um, they, I also got an 8x8 um, grime guard as a, a little extra in my pouch. Um, the pandemic was made the mail the last pouch ridiculously slow i think it was like four weeks before i got it even closer to five and they did um they ended up showing what was in the sassy pouches before i got it so this was like i'm a, i'm sorry it wasn't their fault the mail was ridiculously slow and so slow like even to the point where i don't remotely blame them because you would have thought by then everyone would have got theirs. But I do appreciate this and thank you. Okay, the fabric I get is 28 count, even weave, and this is coral reef. This was um, the Great Barrier Reef themed, I think. So that's the fabric, beautiful fabric. I'm gonna so miss having these. Thread conditioner in the shape of a fishy. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you. Um, a magnetic pick me up wand. This screws in and out. Um, three lots of garden cottage threads. Sea change, Coral Cove, and Sandy Bay. A hoop, which I actually do use hoops, so I'm never going to knock having another one. A piece of Tasmania, or piece of a puzzle that when you collect all of them, you get an extra surprise. Um, in the 12 months that I've been doing this, I have managed to lose every other piece. So keep yours in a safe spot. And when you can make the picture, you um, take a photograph it and you send it to Sassy Pouch and you get a little extra something in your next pouch. Snag Nabbit. Double Nader Threader. Finishing, cross stitch finishing labels. Some finishing bits and pieces. Counting pin, oh. Let's take these out. These deserve not to be blurred by plastic. Counting pins. Very cool. And the free chart this month is by our very own Lisa from. Oh my goodness. I can see the name. from Shady Trees, oh my goodness. From Shady Trees, she has her own um, design and it's um, Paddock, Paddock Lane Designs. And this is the one that she designed for um, Sassy Pouch words. And it's extremely cute. 
Um, I will say, if I can, I really like the way the design is set out. Um, sneak peek. It's very clear. Very big and very clear. So, and um, all the details on the thread, how many threads, and how much of it is used. So that you know roughly how much thread you need to get. So I'm very impressed. And was that everything? Because goodness knows. Thread condition. Oh, I got a needle minder as well, which um, Michaela went off with that. It was of a little fishy. Yes, that's it. So, and that's. Oh, and what I was going to show is Vicky, when she also gave me some of her. Um, the DMC. She gave me a sample of um, the baggies that she used with the, you know, the thread, how she does the card. And um, so this is really cool. I'm not completely going to change my mind about bobbinating, but I might not necessarily bobbinate everything and maybe start doing some of this kind of stuff. Because I'm not against this. And when you look at it and you feel it, when you see possibilities, yeah, I'm not against it. And that's it, guys. Um, I really hope everyone's staying safe. It's been tremendous the last couple of months. Lots been happening in the world. Um, and I just want to say, though, on a general note, it's very easy to be mean to people, um, especially when you, we don't, you know, you, the pandemic's getting us home. Be nice, be kind. Um, there is so much anger and hatred in this world at the minute. And just be kind. Be kind, be understanding. And that's all I got, really. Stop and think. Words matter. Tone matters. That's been our biggest thing with the kids the last couple of weeks. Words matter. Tone matters. And it does. It matters on so many levels. Let's be kind. And that's all I got. <laughs> that's it. Um, i see you next time. I hope... You're going well, and I will see you next time. Bye.